okay, this is my follow-up to my part one video, cost and electricity to drive my Chevy Volt for one month. So this month, the month of November, today is November 30th, uh, on November 1st, I reset my one of my trip meters, so I would actually get the mileage of um, what I drove on electricity, what I drove on gas, and then calculate um, how much it costs. I have not received my electricity bill yet. I'll probably receive that either tomorrow or Wednesday, day after. Let's go out in the car and look at the numbers and uh, talk about it a little bit. It's a wonderful wintry day in Indiana, so I got my garage closed. Car's already on. So there's the old zero put away for the winter, maybe. As you can see, I reset my trip meter A, and the month of November, it's 30 days, I drove 1,116.8 miles. Again, that's 1,116.8 miles total in one month. The gallons of gas that I use, I use two gallons total, according to the car. All right, so let's do some basic uh, calculations here. Okay, so we wanna find out how much did it cost me in electricity to drive that 1,116.8 miles. This isn't, this isn't very exciting. This is like, to me, this is just normal. That's why I'm not like, all that crap that you see YouTubers do. This is just simple math, really. Again, there's gonna be assumptions made. Um, the car says I use two gallons of gasoline. In the month of November, I'm going to assume that I got 38 miles per gallon. Um, I've done actual miles per gallon tests with this car where you reset a trip meter, you fill the car up, and then the next time you get gas, you divide the mi how many miles you're driven by the amount of gas you put in to fill it up again. And that's like that real world miles per gallon. And when I did that, I got 40. So maybe I got 40, maybe I got 42, maybe I got 35, I don't know. I'm just gonna assume 38. So if I got 38 miles per gallon on those two gallons of gas I used, that means that of the 1,116.8 miles I've driven, 76 of those miles was using gasoline, using the, j the gasoline generator, not just pure battery electric power. So let's subtract. 38 times 2 is 76. Let's subtract 76 from 1,116.8 minus 76. And we get 1,040.8. So we drove approximately, or we drove, I drove, my family, whatever. I drove approximately 1,040.8 miles using the battery electric capability of this car only. So how much did we pay in electricity for my electricity bill? Now this is just doing the numbers from the car without seeing the electric, the electric bill because I haven't gotten any. But it should be pretty simple, all right? And again, we're gonna have to make some assumptions because the car doesn't tell you, doesn't tell you this. Now I know that in the in warm weather driving, doing like half city, half like 55 miles per hour, I'll get anywhere from four to sometimes five, if I'm really conservative, um, miles per kilowatt hour. Now again, your, your electricity, I, you can go, you can look at this in my first video, but your electric bill goes by kilowatt hours. How many kilowatt hours did you use in the billing period, essentially? Because, when it's, it's, I moved to the country and I've been, um, it's colder here, month of November in Indiana, I would say the average temperature was probably around 38 to 45, 50, somewhere around there. And I'm doing a lot more highway type, you know, 55, 60, 65 mile per hour driving. So I'm gonna take how many, how many kilowatt hours I use if I got three miles per kilowatt hour, how many miles I use if I got four miles per kilowatt hour, and then I'm gonna average it too. And that's gonna be my number. That's gonna be my assumption. So I got anywhere from four miles per kilowatt hour you know, based on some of the city driving I've done, and I got three miles per kilowatt hour. And I probably got less sometimes, maybe a little more sometimes. So, really exciting stuff, and I'm, I'm glad you're here for it. 1,040.8, that's how many miles I drove on electricity only. I divided by the kilowatt hour. How many miles I get per kilowatt hour, that will give me the total kilowatt hours I use. 1,040.8 divided by four miles per kilowatt hour, that means I use 260.2 kilowatt hours. So remember that number, 260.2. 40.8 divided by 3, I use 346.9 plus 260.2 divided by 2, 303.566667 kilowatt hours. So let's just say 304. So I use 304, approximately 304 kilowatt hours of electricity in the month of November to drive my Chevy Volt 1,040.8 miles. All right, that's the assumption we're going to make. Now, my cost per kilowatt hour. Unless it changes on my next bill, which it shouldn't. It's about 12.8 cents per, kil per kilowatt hour. So if I take 304, multiply that by 0 0.128, because that would be 12.8 cents essentially, I get $38 and approximately 91 cents. And when I tell people I usually, it usually costs 20 to $30 a month, then this, for this month, November, I drove more than I normally drove, I think. 
so it's, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So my electric bill for the month of October was $129 and some change. So this one, you know, all things being equal, should be anywhere probably like around 140 So that's going to be my guess. So we'll see when I get the bill. We've used some, we've used a little bit more heat in the home because it's gotten colder. That really might be the only difference. So I'm going to say the bill is going to be around $140 this time because of the increased uh, driving that I've done on electric only in this car. And I drove by zero like once, once or twice, so that doesn't really play into it. Let's go to the computer and look at the bills and see what the difference is. Thanks. Power down. Ugh. Lame. Okay, check, check, check. We are in the dungeon, my office. Fast forward a few days, it is December 5th, Saturday afternoon, and I received my November electric bill on December 3rd. Freaking recap here. Uh, this was my, what was this, September bill before I had my Volt home and I was driving it regularly. October bill, first month I calculated that I spent about $27 worth of electricity for the month of October. Got this bill a few days ago and the total ended up being $160.39. So I estimated it to be $140. We used the heat more. See, we may have done laundry more during that month. You know, I don't know. What are we gonna look at? So total bill, I, I estimated that, well I didn't estimate, calculated that I drove 140, uh, 1,040.8 miles during the uh, month of November in my Chevy Volt on electric power only. I used 300 and, about 303 kilowatt hours of energy times um, 12.8 cents. So that energy to drive that car that far cost about 30, 38, 39 dollars. So if we look at the electric bill, I estimated to be 140, it ended up being 160, which is way more. Last month, what's interesting is that if you look at the billing from, this billing period is only 29 days. And then if you go to the November, period it was 34 days so take that into account but during this billing period i use way or we use way more energy than we did last month again drove some more in my car maybe we did more laundry maybe we just use more electricity period you know obviously we did there's no maybe about that so what do i want to talk about here so again monthly service charge that's always going to be 15 dollars unless they decide to change it Taxes and fees are based on how much electricity you use, so that's that went up a little bit from last month. And then, so the number I want to focus on is the kilowatt hours used, which was 1,061 compared to last month, which was 824, and the electric service charge, 134.9. And this is actually interesting because the price per kilowatt hour actually went down by like a tenth of a cent. Um, so, how to figure that out? You take how much you paid for the actual electric charge. 134.9, and you divide that by your kilowatt hour usage, 1061. So 12, about 12.7 cents, as you can see here. Now, if you go back to the last bill, calculate that same thing, divide that by the kilowatt hours used, 824, 12.8. So I don't know, cost per kilowatt hour got just a tiny fraction cheaper. Yeah, there's really not much. There's really not much more to say. I mean, it's it's pretty. It's pretty. The the whole point is, it's pretty easy to calculate how much you spend on fuel for your electric car if you have an electric car. It's it's easy. You just you know the efficiency of your car. You, you track the mileage for that month, what you pay per kilowatt hour, and you do some simple math, and boom. You know, you, you're not going to have the exact number because there's just too many factors at play. But you're going to have a very close estimate. So we can scroll down on this bill. So down here, usage details, uh, average daily cost, only increased by 27 cents though, so that's not bad. This is kind of a neat number here, average monthly usage, 644 kilowatt hours. That's obviously since I've had the account. Now the solar panel system that I just put on, that that it's installed, but um, there's still a couple things we're waiting for. So the inspection's done, that paperwork's gotta go to the power company, and then once that gets approved, the section's signed off on whatever, however that works, then they ask permission to operate. And then once that's done, the power company will come out and switch out my meter to a net meter. And then hopefully flip on the system and I'll, I'll be good. You know, first year production, my system's supposed to produce, I think, 10,600 kilowatt hours. And if you divide that by 12 months of the year, 883. So, you know, average monthly usage, as long as that stays below, you know, around 800, 800 to 900, I should be pretty good as far as um, us you know zeroing out our electric usage with solar in conclusion um, i should tell people that when they ask me how much does it cost me to charge my electric car every month i should say anywhere from 20 dollars to you know i could round up and get 50 dollars based on what i drive but you know 20 to 40 dollars a month
which isn't bad. And you know, you can do some simple math to calculate, you know, how much would it cost for like, let's say a 20 mile per gallon vehicle. So 1,040.8 miles divided by 20 miles per gallon, 52, you use 52 gallons that month times price per gallon, which around here has been about $2, a little less, a little more sometimes. So 104. So, I mean, you're looking at savings of around $60 every month. And if you multiply that times 12, that's $720 a year in fuel savings for one vehicle. So, and that's when gasoline is cheap. You now gasoline was $4 a gallon, 52 gallons times four, $208, you know, minus, uh, what did I say I spent? 38, 39, whatever, you know, $169 a month times 12. Then you're looking at $2,000 a year saved. Bottom line is, it's like electric cars aren't extremely cheap to operate. They're not like, like pennies on a dollar cheap, but they, they do save you money. They are cheaper. They are more efficient. I mean, that's just really the bottom line. That's, to me, it's old hat, like, duh. Why are you watching this video? What else do I want to say? Oh, man. That $160.39, that's, that's pretty much, other than our, the old gas guzzler, our 2013 Prius, that's paying for the energy to, for everything. Everything. We don't have, again, like I said, this house doesn't have natural gas or propane. Everything's powered by electricity. The well, um, we have, you know, we live in the country, so we have our own well that's powered by electricity. So our water is, well, there's no water bill, there's no gas bill, there's only an electric bill. And that, that powers my car for the most part. 140.8 divided by, what was it, 116, 16, something like that. Um, yeah, so 93% of the mileage I drove in November was not using gasoline, it was using electricity and my volts. So. Okay, that's my video for today. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not done so. I'm at 224 subscribers. Yeah, hitting the big time. You would think YouTube would be easy. It ain't. And I haven't done bad for the amount of effort I put in. I haven't put that much effort into it. Because I don't treat it like a job. You have to treat it like a job if you want it to be successful. And, that's, and I don't yet. Um, it's just something I do as a hobby. It's fun. Okay, get out of here.